With support from the World Bank Government of Uganda through the Ministry of Lands, continue securing and issuing freehold land titles under the Systematic Land Adjudication and Certification Program, SILAC. From Barra Zono setting, 1,500 freehold land titles have been processed and this Saturday morning handed over to the beneficiaries. I have to say that 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 I have to say His Excellency. Ntusima Mkamihanga, we thank the President and the Government of Uganda that thought about this particular program to benefit our people. I have to say that President Witu, you are Kagutam Seveni. Aboku Icheriza, Ngu Program Eji, Ea Slack. Hamwe na World Bank, Kujangu Eije, Ekorwe, Hanom Uganda. This has been at an event presided over by the Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Navakoba, in Imbara City. The current NRM manifesto clearly pledges to register land and issue people with titles. It is only through such actions that government and citizens can conquer hunger and food insecurity. Land title certificate beneficiaries were sampled from the districts of Kiruhura, Ibanda, Rampara and Imbara City. <laughs> Tana kama te ani ma kurugabe haruke kanyara na si mamunonga mchara na bakubwa na kabineti ye abukuteleza ebya pa bia busha. Bata hani bebuza ngusha wengine governmenti ya movementi, emazire jimia kayo na etarga ho yekarwara cha ba mama ngono ibo bururu ba mama ngono mbwenu no tunge cha pa cha busha au achikwa no brakum tere rakaruru biro ba kurojiri. And the evidence is there that where people have been given freehold titles, there is undisputed development and transformation. However, beneficiaries are being cautioned against economy. It is risky. It's problematic. It's my fear that by tomorrow, these free freehold titles could be in the hands of money lenders just tomorrow. And in doing that, they have handed over everything to them. I urge you to use your titles to generate more wealth. Now this is safe from disputes. Do not sell your land. The regional members of parliament, however, urge that time has come for government to own up this initiative. How I wish, Minister, this will be enrolled to other districts. I know it is very expensive. Very, very expensive. We cannot manage it at once. The meaning of a project is that it has a lifespan. My prayer, and on behalf of all these people and others who haven't come, is that the government takes it up. Now that it has been proved it works, government takes it up. And parliament is ready that I, with my colleagues here, we shall appropriate money to make sure every each Ugandan gets a freehold title. The Renduru land conflict, which the minister has in the past attended to, resurfaced with the RSS in Barra City, vowing to arrest those causing unrest in the area. We are going to arrest him, I can assure you. Me, I don't seek love. The man is, a, I don't know, a deserter. I've been here for three years. That man has been on the ground for three years. When does he work? So. Honorable Minister, I ask you kindly, as you reach Kampala, send a surveyor to open the boundaries of the land that was bought by government. We have agreed that next week they have to assemble a team to come and open boundaries. After that exercise, then we shall know what to do next. For the past five years, thousands of Ugandans have been receiving freehold land titles under the SLAC initiative. Robert Nyongu, UBC News. Barra City. <laughs>